this is a quick setup on how to use the SX Blue. Uh, SX Blue is the GPS unit that we use out in the field on a normal basis now. Looks just like this. Serial number can be found on the side right here. You need to know that serial number for most of this demo, so keep in mind of where it's at and how to find it. Now to start off with, you need to connect your SX Blue up to its receiver, and you got the cable right here, which goes to a hockey puck up here. Uh, some of the trucks have a different type of uh, end or a different type of receiver, however it connects exactly the same. So to start off with, we're going to connect the SX Blue up to the laptop. You're going to go down here and click Bluetooth and show Bluetooth devices. You're going to get a list of Bluetooth devices on here. Uh, right now I have three SX Blues connected, however the one that I'm using is not. So I'm going to click on Add Device up here in the top left hand corner. And the Bluetooth should, uh, SX Blue should pop up. If it doesn't pop up, go ahead and just turn the SX Blue off and back on again. Here it is, so I'll click on it. Enter device's pairing code. Pairing code is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's the same for all of them, so don't worry about it. If you lose it, just watch this video again. Hit next. I've connected this one up multiple times, so it goes pretty quick, but if it's the first time, it could take up to a couple of minutes. And it tells you that it's ready to go. So go ahead and close that up. Okay, once you have the uh, SX Blue connected uh, via Bluetooth, you're going to open up Esri ArcPad. Uh, if you don't have Esri ArcPad on your computer already, go ahead and Google it, Esri, E-R-S-I, ArcPad, and just go ahead and download the trial version. Uh, it's free. The paid version is very expensive, so we don't use it, but you can just use the actual Esri ArcPad right here. Um, the free version is going to give you about 20 minutes. so. Uh, registration, there is no registration number because it is the trial, so go ahead and hit it cancel. And this is an unregistered, unregistered version of ArcPad, no problem, it says you only have 20 minutes to use it, that's fine. Go ahead and hit OK. All right, once you've hit OK, it'll load up Esri ArcPad, you're going to go ahead and click New Map. And you're going to set up the, Esri, uh, the GPS parameters, uh, connection settings. So go ahead and up here in the top left hand corner you're going to have this little satellite icon. Go ahead and hit the drop down menu. And you're going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to go to GPS preferences. Alright, your preferences, uh, your settings for the, to make sure it all works together is your protocol is going to be NMEA0183. Your COM port is going to possibly change so I'll show you where to find that here in just a second. And your baud rate is 4800. Alright. Those are the basic settings, and then you also want to go over a little bit and scroll to Datum. And you're going to select the DIRT, or sorry, ITRF2000. Alright, you see that right here. That's the Datum we use. In other words, it's the, it's the map that the software actually takes all the readings um, and converts them to. So you're going to need to know that um, and make sure that's correct because otherwise you're going to end up with uh, some off readings. So once you have those selected, go ahead and go back to um, to the beginning, to GPS, and we're going to go find out where this COM port number is. Alright, so what you're going to do for COM port is you're going to go back to at the bottom here and select your Bluetooth icon. And you're going to show Bluetooth devices. Go to the SX Blue that you are using, which in this case, uh, verified by serial number right here on the side. Right click and go to properties. And click on hardware. And what you'll see right here is you'll have the standard serial over Bluetooth Inc. COM port 16. All right, so that says we're using COM port 16, which in this case is fine. Uh, we already have the setting in it because I just used this a few minutes ago. But in the event that it, the COM port has changed, uh, you're going to need to know where to find that. Um, the reason that it could possibly change is I have multiple Bluetooth devices connected up to my laptop at any given time. And they all kind of have their own set uh, COM port. Um, so you're going to need to know how to change it and where to find the answer uh, to find out what it is. So go ahead and hit OK. And go ahead and go back to Esri. 
and make sure the COM port is the correct one. So in this case, 16, and hit OK. Once you've done that, go ahead and activate your GPS by clicking on the little satellite icon. And once it activates, you're going to get this nice little blue, uh, bluish green box down here at the bottom. That tells you that you are connected. Go ahead and click on it. <clears throat> and you're going to get your GPS readings. Uh, for our reporting system, we'd use the decimal system. So go ahead and left click and select the decimal system. And it didn't change anything because I already had it, but uh, that way you have the uh, correct information correct information that you're going to use for your report. So what we're going to do is we're going to screenshot this page and we're also going to screenshot the qualities page. Um, the reason we want both these pages is the data page has all of our lat long information on it and the quality page has our PDOP and HDOP which is another couple of things that we put on our form. So go ahead and do a screenshot by holding the function key in this case is right here, the FN key, and you're going to hit print screen with that. Set this down because I can't use any both hands. Alright, so I print screen the first one, I'm going to open up a nice Word document, and I'm going to paste it. Alright, I want to make sure that I have it labeled. Um, we're going to call it upstream alright upstream that's what it's called alright so that's our GPS reading for that one and then we would screenshot the other page the qualities tab also so we'll screenshot that real fast We will paste it. So that's all the information for our GPS um, <clears throat> for that for that reading. You're gonna have to redo the uh, screenshot and paste for every reading. Make sure you label them correctly on your Word document so you can go back and put them in your report here in a few minutes. Um, that's a basic quick setup on how to use Ezri, uh, the Esri ArcPad and SX Blue. Uh, any questions? Feel free to look them up. Have a good day.